Did you know that donkeys are going extinct? Yes, donkeys who are cute innocent animals that are usually used for hard work. We do not hard work with donkeys are now going extinct. Not only that they are being used but they are being used in a very gruesome and cruel way. Thanks to human beings who are using them for their own selfish purposes, especially human beings in China. Today we have Luke with us who is going to throw light on this subject and tell us in details that how these animals that are commonly seen are now very soon going to go extinct. Please subscribe to our channel Talking Tales and do not forget to press the bell icon so that whenever we upload a video, Look, uh, I was going to your website and uh, there I came to know that uh, there is a mention of donkeys going extinct. Can you throw some yes. light on, on that uh, topic? It's a very sad situation. Um, uh, so basically the, 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 the core of the problem is the donkey skin trade. So the donkey skin trade is Chinese run and the Chinese use um, the donkey skin, there's, a, there's, a, there's something in the donkey skin that they use to make a cosmetic. The cosmetic is called Ijao, and it's basically a cosmetic that women put on their face. Um, and they need the donkey skin in order to make this product, they claim. Although it has absolutely zero um, proven health benefits whatsoever. And the cosmetic is is as far as I can tell, just a normal face. So I don't think there's any benefit from using donkey skins. The current demand, I think, is 17 million skins a year. Uh, the problem is there are only about 4 million donkeys left in the world. Donkeys in Asia have been pretty much wiped out. And now they are turning to Africa and targeting Africa because we, you know, Africa has, they still use donkeys in Africa. So donkeys, in some cultures are used to transport goods and other things. So um, the Chinese will come in and set up slaughterhouses, donkey slaughterhouses in these poor African countries. And donkeys are then rounded up from, from villages brought to these slaughterhouses where they're then slaughtered in inhumane and, and not well-practiced ways in their thousands. And what they do is they just knock them over their head with a hammer and then skin them alive. Mm. Um, so that's why the donkey's populations have declined so dramatically, is because of the demand for the donkey skin trade. Um, so we've been working very hard on trying to shut those uh, slaughterhouses down. We've managed to shut them down and, in Kenya, we've managed to shut them down in, in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. um, we're working very really hard on, on um, preventative measures now in those areas because what happened is then it ha ha happened under a shroud of secrecy. They were taking these donkeys into, into the route, into like areas that no one could see and then killing them there. They, would, they, call, they call them hotspots. So what we've actually done is we're uh, working with the anti-stock theft units and allowed them, we've given them motorbikes so that they can increase the area that they patrol and, and stop people, you know, committing these crimes against these animals. So we were working on that. We've got other donkey proposals uh, that are, we're working on at the moment and strategies to try and prevent people from getting to them. Um, but at the end of the day, the numbers are declining quite dramatically. Uh, also because people aren't using them as much, mm -hmm. you know, they don't use them as much as they used to. Uh, now we've got cars, we've got other means of transport. So donkeys for thousands of years have served us and now that we don't need them, we're just like, okay, well, you know, we don't need them anymore. So, and this, this is incredibly unfair for them because if you know a donkey, donkeys are very beautiful, loving, emotional creatures. Actually, the, they, the donkeys will come up to you and give you a hug. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's lovely. And and now, uh, you know, we have a responsibility to take care of them. Yes. They took care of us for twelve to two thousand years. They've been hauling our goods around, and now we don't need them. So just, who cares? No, we need to pay back 
what they've given us. And the way we can do that is by protecting them and give, allowing them to be free in the wild the way they should be. So we encourage that kind of behavior and we encourage those kind of practices. And we discourage people from rounding them up and killing them in the most barbaric ways. Look, really your work, your team's work is commendable. And uh, we feel so happy that there's a network for animals there. Grateful that people like you are there to take care of innocent lives. And we feel a very proud feeling and we feel happy that you are you guys are so brave and working in so many countries i hope that one day uh, through india we could also contribute and be a part with you thank you for thank your time thank you guys very much and thank you for all the work you're doing and spreading the the good word to everyone and we look forward to um, talking with you more in the future about some of our achievements and some of the things that you're doing as well. Yes, we would love to be upgraded about what all you all are doing and do something together for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lou. Thank you.